Hello, and welcome to Region Locked. Ryu Hayabusa has appeared in many games over the years. Originally taking on the lead role in Tecmo's Ninja Gaiden series, he would later appear as a playable fighter in the Dead or Alive games. Many gamers know of Ryu's origins in the hugely popular NES Ninja Gaiden game, a staple of Nintendo's 8-bit library. But in PAL territories, Ninja Gaiden was also a Sega Master System game, and this version of the game has several key differences from the popular Nintendo release. Let's take a look at the game and how it came to be. The Sega game plays similarly to the Nintendo version, taking on many elements that helped the original release become a success. The game is all about fast-paced action platforming, with Ryu able to slice enemies with his sword, jump large distances, and cast special alternate attacks that he picks up along the way. The differences in these two versions can be found in how the player traverses each stage. The ability to cling to walls, which was featured prominently in the original Nintendo release, has been removed. Instead, the game only allows the player to wall jump. However, a new skill is introduced that allows players to grab hold of platforms from below and pull themselves up. Although it borrows several gameplay mechanics from the Nintendo game, the title's plot is disconnected from the rest of the Ninja Gaiden series. The story tells of the Ninja Dragon Clan, a group that have protected Japan for generations. Ryu, who is a member of this clan, returns home after being away for some time. Once Ryu returns, he learns that the Dragon Village, which is the clan's home, has been attacked. Ryu finds a single survivor who, with his dying breath, tells Ryu that the sacred Bushido scroll has been stolen it's said that the scroll holds immense power and whomever controls it could control the world. Ryu, the last remaining ninja of the Dragon Clan, makes it his mission to retake the scroll and destroy the evil Shogun of Darkness. Ryu encounters a number of different enemies throughout his journey, and even aims to rescue a geisha as he takes down the evil Shogun. On release, the Master System Ninja Gaiden was very well received. Most gaming magazines gave the title scores of 90% and above, praising its impressive graphics. The game managed to achieve some fairly striking visuals on the already already dated Sega Master System hardware. Ninja Gaiden's release was a curious one. The Sega Master System was first released to the public in 1985, and was a huge flop in the American and Japanese video game markets. However, in PAL territories, the console was a strong contender against the tyrant that was the NES. The Master System's support in the Japanese and American regions began to fade, as sales for the system were lackluster. Sega refrained from publishing Ninja Gaiden outside of the PAL territories, likely because of the discontinuation of the Master System games in those regions. Interestingly, the NES version of Ninja Gaiden was rebranded as Shadow Warriors when it was brought to Europe. It's unknown why the name wasn't used for the Master System version as well. The game wasn't even programmed by Tecmo, who are the Ninja Gaiden series owners. It was instead produced by a Japanese developer known as Sims, a group that, at the time, were owned by Sega. The company later helped to create the 8-bit version of Disney's Aladdin released on the Sega Game Gear and, in Europe only, the Sega Master System. Although PAL territories got their own exclusive Ninja Gaiden with the Master System release, the region missed out on the NES release of Ninja Gaiden 3. The NES version of Ninja Gaiden 3 wasn't available in Europe until 2014, when it was published on the 3DS Virtual Console. The game might not have been brought to Europe due to the NES's subpar sales in the region. Ninja Gaiden had two other releases that never came to America. The original arcade title was ported over to the PC Engine, which was exclusively released in the Japanese market. The gameplay boasted more impressive graphics than the NES release, and included gameplay and difficulty tweaks. The game even has three different language options, Japanese, English, and Mandarin, and the English translation is actually different from the one used in the original NES version. The port likely never left Japan because of similar reasons to the Master System title, as the PC Engine had a very weak presence outside of the region. The other title the West never saw was Ninja Gaiden X, a mobile phone prequel to the series. This game inherits the gameplay of the original NES games and has Ryu face off against his father. There isn't much to the game besides killing a few enemies. The most interesting detail about this game might be its title. Calling the game Ninja Gaiden X might make sense to us West but the series was actually called Ninja Ryukenden in Japan. Although the retro games don't have the Ninja Gaiden handle in Japan, the modern games for the Xbox and beyond do. The title Ninja Gaiden X was likely chosen to align the game's branding with the modern reboot. Do you like ninjas? I sure do. Maybe you'd like our video about the Japanese Nintendo classic, The Mysterious Murasame Castle. If you want to check it out, why not click the annotation on screen and be taken there? If you like this video, consider liking it and subscribing to Did You Know Gaming on YouTube to keep up with our future videos. We'll be streaming the Master System version of Ninja Gaiden over on Twitch once this video goes live. If the video's been out for a while, we won't be streaming anymore, obviously, but why not consider following us on Twitch and keep up with our future streams? My name has been Greg. Yep, this is region locked.